Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 19. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find and fix invalid database objects. This slide talks about the scenarios and solution. Uh, there are many reasons for uh, invalid objects to be present in the database. The most typical uh, reason would be like applying TDL and schema changes. So what I mean by that is, let's say if you have a table, uh, table A, and there is a stored procedure which is accessing this, that particular table, there is a UDF which is based on that table, or there is a view that is based on that table. And as part of your schema change, if you drop the table, but you leave the other dependent objects as such, then those objects will be marked as invalid. Now, during your uh, maintenance operations or during your fix pack upgrades or DB2 upgrades, uh, we have to make sure that uh, there is no uh, invalid objects that are present in the database. It's a good, uh, good practice or best practice. The maintenance operation or the fix pack upgrade may not be the reason for the invalid object, but during that ma maintenance window, it's good to uh, check whether there are any invalid objects and what is the root cause for it and fix them. Now, how to find invalid objects? There is an admin view that is available, uh, syscat.invalidobjects. It's a pretty much straightforward uh, table uh, which you can query and find out what are all the objects that are invalid. Now, how will I fix the invalid objects? There is a procedure sysproc.adminRevalidateDB objects which takes three arguments, object type, object schema and object name. So this gives a lot of uh, flexibility to revalidate DB objects. So you can uh, pass null arguments to all these three. So what will happen in that case is the revalidate DB objects will revalidate all the objects inside the database. So if you pass only the schema name, then it will revalidate only the uh, objects that are available under that schema. Or you can specifically uh, call the uh, procedure by passing an object schema and an object name which means that only that particular object which can be like a view or which can be like a stored procedure will be uh, revalidated. Now the advantage with this revalidate uh, DB objects procedure is that the privileges will be preserved so you need not worry about the privileges and there is no need to drop and recreate the invalid objects. So what happens is if you drop and recreate the invalid objects the privileges associated with those objects will be also removed from the system. But whereas if you use admin revalidate db objects, the privileges will be preserved. Let us get into the examples to better understand this scenario. Here I am connecting to the database test. Uh, I am dropping the table A, uh, procedure my proc, uh, view my view, creating a table, inserting a uh, few values into that and I am creating a view which is based on table A and I am creating a procedure which is uh, accessing the table A and I am select, I am granting select privilege on my view to user Phineas then I am granting update privilege on table A to user Ferb and I am granting execute privilege on uh, procedure my proc to user Candace. So let's just do that quickly. Okay, the drop table is failed because it's saying that the object does not exist. The create table is successful, the inserts are successful, the view is also created, and the procedure is also created. The procedure is a very uh, simple procedure. It updates table A with name equal to triple H where ID equal to 5000. Okay, and the grant uh, statements are also successful. Now let's query the uh, sys, uh, syscat dot install sorry syscat dot invalid objects so let's query that and the authorities so you can see here i am querying syscat dot invalid objects so currently there are no uh, objects zero records which means there are no invalid objects in the database and all the privileges that we have granted are intact. Now let's go and drop the table A. So once I drop the table A, again I'm running the same uh, queries. Let's look at what happens. So the drop got successful. 
So the syscat dot invalid objects now has two records in it. The first one says my view. So under DB2 INST1 schema, my view. So here the object type is V, which means view. Uh, F means routine. The routine name is my prop. So the procedure and the view, which is based on the table A, that got invalidated. Okay. Now let's look at the access. So if you look at the privileges, the privileges that were granted to Candace and Phineas are intact. This is the these are the invalid objects. Those privileges are still available. Uh, the table which we dropped, table A. So that access was given to Ferb. That is not here because since the object itself is dropped, the privilege also got dropped. Okay. Now let us call this uh, admin revalidate db object procedure. I am trying to say here, so admin revalidate db objects only that particular procedure which is under the schema db to inst1 with the name myproc. So if I try to revalidate, the revalidation is failing. So why it is failing? It could not be revalidated because it references this particular object and that particular object is obviously not available. And another way of invoking the same routine is like this. So admin revalidate db objects, I'm passing null for the object type and saying only the schema name, the rest of the arguments are null, which means under that schema, all the objects will be revalidated. So let's check that also. So that is also again failing because this time it is failing because the view, my view could not be revalidated obviously because we have dropped the table A. So these are the examples of invocation of admin revalidate db objects. So once I uh, revalidated the object, now look at the error message column here, it will be populated saying what is the reason for the invalidation in syscat dot invalid objects okay so the revalidate objects once called it has updated the invalid objects admin view saying what is the reason for the uh, re, uh, what is the reason for the uh, failure of the revalidation <coughs> so here we can see that the procedure my proc did not get revalidated because this particular table A is an undefined name. So it clearly gives you the SQL code, SQL state and the error message description. So let's go and fix it. So how to fix it? We have to create the table and we are granting the access. Okay, done. Now let's call the invalid objects, uh, let's query the invalid objects table again. So it is still uh, available, like, uh, you know, still those two, uh, the procedure and the view is still invalid only. The creation of table is not going to solve the issue because the invalid object remains in the invalid state only. So I have to invoke the admin revalidate db objects again. Okay, so now it has successfully revalidated with the return status of zero. Okay. Again, let us query the system. So now we can see that syscat.invalid objects zero records, which means all the objects are valid and the uh, uh, privileges that we granted for Candace and Phineas are intact, okay? So they are preserved. Okay. So this is how we can use the admin uh, revalidate db objects uh, stored procedure. Now, uh, the following uh, demonstration uh, is for uh, when you drop and recreate invalid objects, it does not preserve the privileges. So we are going to demonstrate that. So let us drop the table again. So what happens is we are uh, going to create again invalid objects by means of this. Okay, the table got dropped successfully. So 
the procedure and the view again they got invalidated you can see there are uh, uh, even though the objects are invalid the procedure and view objects are invalid their privileges are uh, still showing right let's fix the problem so to fix the problem we have to create the table and we are granting the privileges on the table and we are running again okay so th these two again still they are uh, invalid objects only because we have to revalidate them now in order to revalidate i am not using the admin uh, revalidate uh, procedure this time instead i am going to instead i am going to drop the procedure and view i'm going to drop the procedure and view and recreate them so the procedure is dropped completely the view is also created the procedure is also created okay now let us query the privileges and the invalid objects so you can see that the invalid objects is not there it has fixed the issue but look at the authorities like look at the privileges only the update privilege on table a uh, remains intact the other two privileges which were held by candace and phineas is missing that's because we dropped these individual invalid objects and we recreated them so the privileges were also dropped so we have to grant them again so this is the uh, advantage so like this is this is not the advantage uh, when you are using this kind of an approach whereas if you use uh, admin uh, revalidate db objects right for fixing the issue right so when you do this it preserves those privileges so you need not worry about losing any privileges unintentionally okay so this procedure is very efficient and useful uh, tool for revalidating db objects and it also offers multiple uh, ways of invocation by means of the arguments uh, so it will be very useful that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy see you in the next video bye bye